Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw. With me, Israel Taylor. Israel repping the Box Raw brand, I can see. Of course, man. Nothing better. What's going on, man? You good? To be honest, I, I'm saying that, I've actually seen you modding for them, haven't I, on, on the website as well? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, Box Raw is nice. Hence why I'm here in it, man. This is a big occasion for me. So for me to step out in them, then, you know, they must be doing something right, right? But yeah, um, big up Box Raw, big up Party, man. And yourself as well, man. 100%. Um, Israel, I spoke to you on Zoom during lockdown. I remember Spencer Ferron gave me a shout. He goes, can you can you speak to my guy, Israel Taylor? Obviously, lockdown was difficult for everybody. Just this explain how things are. 6 and 0, I believe, right now. How things are. What's the situation? Where are you at with your career? Yeah, I'm here, man. Like This here is this is a big stage for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Zhang Joyce, Wembley, it's a lot. Um, especially from where I was speaking to you from as well when there was COVID lockdown. I, I didn't have any fights, etc. That's when I signed with Queensbury. And now, seventh fight, we're here. We're stepping up with opponents. Um, and yeah, Saturday night, man. Let's get to let loose, man. I can't wait. I'm very excited. I'm very much ready and prepared for this fight. Um, I know all it is is for me to go out there and just enjoy it, man. And that's when you'll see the best Ezra. From your social media kind of posting, you know, I can see you're always ripped, always kind of kind of in shape. Um, great advocate for Boston. You know, that's how fight it should be. Oscar De La Hoya put a tweet out that fighters need to fight more than twice a year and fighters need to stay in the gym. How important is that for yourself? It's, it's a, you know what it is, yeah? You hear it a lot and it's a cliche. But it's a lifestyle, man. This is not just me getting trained, me getting trained up and ready for this fight on Saturday. After you sort of still be back in the gym, still eat right, because that's what champions do, man. Um, in my head, that's what I see myself as a champion, right? So I've got to kind of move like a champion as well. I don't want to get a phone call. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be fighting Bivol in in two weeks, and I'm not ready because I've been eating kebabs. We don't do that, man. We live the lifestyle. If you're really about it and you've got the passion, you want to live the lifestyle. You want to mold yourself into the person that you see yourself becoming. And that's exactly what I do. So yeah, I stay in shape, I stay working, and I stay a student of the game, and I want to just keep getting better. So the only way I know to get better is to keep doing what I'm doing to get better. In terms of weight, um, light heavyweight, is that is that still the weight that you're going to be campaigning at for now? Mm -hmm. Still light heavyweight, still making weight, fine. Until that's not a, a thing anymore, God willing, it still is going to be in a few years' time. Um, I'm still going to be reigning. Um, I'm speaking in the future, I'm saying raining. I'm still going to be doing my thing in here until I am raining in the light of you. Uh, you know, some fighters have a methodology where they want to take their time. They want to have, you know, 15, 16, 70 fights, step up to British, get into the 20s, go into Worlds. Then you've got people like Lawrence Cody who became a, a world champion 50, after 15 or 16 fights. What, what's, it, what's your mindset like? And is it, is it fast track? Is it take your time? Um, I wouldn't say it's neither, to be fair. Um, I'm taking my time, but it seems that like I'm moving at an accelerated pace anyway. It's my seventh fight and I'm stepping up, you know, um, I'm stepping up fighting the top ten in the UK. A lot of people don't do that, I believe. Um, but everything needs to make sense. We, I've got a team around me, an amazing team, that will sit down and plan things and structure how things will go. If I could be a world champion by 14, 12, 13 fights, then yo, that's amazing. But again, we're not going to rush it. If it takes 18, 19 fights and so be it, man. God's got a plan for me and I'm just, I'm just an advocate of that. And I'm just really um, just embracing the journey as well, man. You've got to enjoy the process and this is the process. I don't want to rush anything before my time. Um, but Saturday is my next step to greatness in a way. And um, then after that, we'll reevaluate, man, and see, see what's about, see what titles are um, about. Because I guess I'll be eligible for that as well now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what, um, what direction Frank and George and my, my team want me to do as well and go. Light heavyweight division is, is is thriving at the moment. Obviously, Anthony Yar fights on the same card. Um, Lyndon Arthur fought a couple of weeks ago. Um, Boatia Aziz are fighting in a couple of in about a month's time as well. Um, Craig Rich is still there as well. So it's a, it's a thriving division. Do you think sooner rather than later you'll be able to mix it with them boys as well? I believe so, man. After this fight, after this win on Saturday, then yeah, for sure. Um, because then I'll be in top ten contentions, and then. It's going to be, a, it's going to be a, a matter of, you can't really avoid me now. If I start shouting out names, then I'll be in a position to really start getting those fights in. So, um, again, it just has to make sense. I'm, in, I'm not in competition with anyone. I haven't really got any eyes on anyone. I just want to do what I need to do. If it's people in the UK, then great. If it's people overseas and whatever it needs to be, for me to become world champion, I'm ready for it. So, um, but again, like you said, not to take away the, the, the light heavyweight division that's on fire right now. We've got good fights. We've got good fighters too. Um, and yeah, man, it's, just, it's inevitable that I'm going to start mixing it with these guys at some point. What can we expect to see on Saturday night? An amazing performance. A, a very, very good, disciplined and relaxed performance from myself. Um, that's what I've been working on. I've been working on um, enjoying 
what I'm doing because I've been working hard, man. I've been working so, so hard. And God willing, you'll be able to see how hard I've worked on Saturday where I'll be able to reap all the rewards. Finally, before I let you go, a uh, big main event, Zidi Zhang, Joe Joyce, obviously Zidi won that first fight, the rematch is on. Um, a prediction, who wins, how? I feel like I, I'm, I want to side with Joe Joyce. I'm going to side with Joe Joyce. I'm going to fly his flag because I want him to win, of course. But Zhang is a very tough operator, man. He's very good southpaw and he's got, he's got very good basics. I just feel like Joe Joyce, could, he's got the tools to win this. But again, he's got that mental battle of losing to someone that he has to fight again. And he lost in a, in a bad way, in a sense, because he got, came out with a damaged eye and whatever else. But Joe Joyce, he has the tools. I think he's got the fire as well to come back. Because he jumped straight back into this fight. Activated the rematch and got, got it cracking straight away. So that on its own gives me the indication that I believe he's going to do his thing. So yeah, man, Joe Joyce on points if you want a, if you want a, a prediction from me. Israel, great speaking to you. Uh, we wish you all the best on Saturday night and I'm sure we'll catch up with you after the fight. No, after the victory, for sure. 100%. Israel Taylor for Boxing Media, thank you.